Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV and the cheerful couple you see in front of you are these slightly put upon touches who I met many, many years ago when they were supplying food. So good, I completely don't even remember the event I was at, but just your food. How long ago was that, guys? Can you remember? Oh, uh, six years. Maybe longer. Six, no, no, six years. John yeah. Cleese. Yes. John Cleese. That's yes. a car high five club. He supplied a car radio to Mary Hopkin for our older viewers. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, completely irrelevant. What we're doing is the game cookery recipe for Slingshot World magazine. And in this case, well, we're going to cook a pheasant. And, um, well, instead of a, a me on the table in my garden, <laughs> these guys are quite the most fabulous uh, set of catering. You guys are... Uh, so operatives, you, you've been on the telly, ITV, BBC. Uh, BBC. Yes. Uh, I've done the BBC Roadshow for uh, Master Chef, so Master Chef Live, <laughs> and um, we've done a section of This Morning ITV. It never aired. Um, uh -huh. It was a little bit, uh, you know. Yeah, exactly. That was fine. Yeah. <laughs> you bet you did go on the cutting room floor. I hate that. I once got bumped off the sofa by a princess being born. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, 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 so I was actually... Before. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> so, we're roasting a pheasant today, mm -hmm. and it starts off... There was something I, I, I had at a restaurant, someone wanted a copy, so... Born means burst into action. We've got um, the stuff on the... Uh, yep. All arranged down here. Mm -hmm. um, parsnips, sticky parsnips and a roast pheasant. Um, so, hey, yeah, grab, grab, and let's, let's get at it. We're going to... Let's go. Marvellous. Alrighty. So, just to prep um, the parsnip, obviously it's not particularly hard work. So, we're just... Going to peel them up. Going to peel them up. This peeler is absolutely wonderful. And, um, yeah, so, I've often uh, done a few bits for um, BBC Radio Berkshire as well. Could be I, on the I know, on the wireless, on the radio yes. as and well. And Radio Berkshire, you have a posh voice for Radio Berkshire. You must have a very posh voice for Radio Berkshire. It's a good <laughs> job I was raised in London yes. uh, and learned how to speak with a posh voice. But now I live in Reading, so I don't really need to be quite you do so a, much. You do a very good sort of Reading Urban as well, don't you? Reading so. in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're regular folks here. So yes, this is, this is an attempt at, at something, or uh, well, to copy something I had somewhere, which was... Uh, so I'm sort of slicing these at a little bit of an angle okay. and um, we're trying to keep the ends so that they're nice and tapered and um, there we go, look at that, a bit of a mess. I'll just reach in, <coughs> yep. show the good people effect. Oh, yeah. It's not posh honey. Not posh honey, no. any honey um, any honey will do. Uh, but you can um, you can make good stuff with whatever ingredient ingredients you have. We're going to boil them a little bit later and um, and then do the magic, as it were, by um, by seasoning. And then uh, stick them in the roasting pan and just um, shove them in the oven, keep turning them. Okay, uh, well, look, we're, um, rather than having these lovely people watching the entire process of doing the parsnips while we like start stuff, right. okay. we'll cut it there and uh, come back to when a little bit more of the prep has been done. Because this is sticky parsnips, a roasted pheasant with uh, bacon, mm -hmm. a rather lovely bacon actually. Let's just show these guys this one. Oh, lush. This is uh, rind on, not water injected, from our Majesty Spot like Shop. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be uh, back in a moment with some of the prep done. Yeah, yeah. And sell them as a thing. As a roasted garlic. Well, basically, three garlics with a couple of pieces of ciabatta bread uh -huh. for the people that dip in and eat the garlic out of. Mm. Because he called it, he called it the, poor, uh, the poor version of garlic bread. That sounds delicious, Sam. Huh? Actually, yeah. you could give me some of them. Something about the expensive microwave to kick some There's three. Right, there we have shallots. Actually, I was being lazy. I found these posh crisps up the farm shop and I even wrote it into the recipe. Who the heck is going to find these things? Look, we've got a cheese grater, get a potato, Very slice cool. them up and fry them. Cool. Game chips is what they call them, but you're attempting to make potato crisps at home as the clock, you know. Meanwhile, I was going to say, oh, yeah, uh, I was trying to style it out with this whole thing about we'll come back when the ingredients are prepared. <laughs> Eagle-eyed viewers would have seen the lamp flicker. I... <laughs> yes, and, and he's just ringing up, oh, well, should I say? Anyway, so I've changed the batteries and... Um, as Serene put it, watching Daniel Tucci cutting up an onion is a thing. Well, it's, it's a thing. I mean, I always say to viewers that it's a thing that people try when they chop onions. And yeah, just don't combine it with blood. Uh, avoiding to cry to chop onions is first of all having a sharp knife. Yes. And uh, wash the onions off with a bit of cold water. And then basically chop them down. 
as fine as he can. There's love. So he's actually stopped just to walk. Uh -huh. I go in from the front only once, uh -huh. and then just go down. And then when you're, you know, don't do what I'm doing, looking at you whilst you're chopping. Yeah, because you're chopping <laughs> fingers off. But this is years of practice. So. <laughs> It doesn't look many low strokes, but when you finish, I mean, yeah, I've written in yeah, yeah. more, more better wordage, destroy an onion. Yeah, destroy an onion. I mean, the thing is, you can do it as many ways as you like. I've done one way, and the other way I like is going through as well, but don't cut in the middle to leave the onions a bit more rustic. Now, with my cooking, it's all about flavour, and leaving the onion a bit more rustic without chopping it too fine, it keeps actually the flavour of the onion together. And shallots for me are a must in any onion sauce. Cut through and I basically just chop them as, as fine as possible on the full, on the full thing. And obviously don't try this at home. No, I'm desperately trying not to or, slice or, or my fingers. Or practice off. this at home. But or practice. 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 Be very careful. Yeah and be careful. Now I've done one full shallot and then the other way you can do the shallots is going down and to add a bit of texture to a sauce and not having everything the same way I go with the shallots long way. Yeah. And Again. basically they, when they soften up they don't end up being stringy. Awesome. So that's the final points. Smack the onions into pieces. Yeah, so you guys can just chop them up. We're going to make a cider sauce for these, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Teacher's particularly good at gravies. Well, with the gravy and the sauce, I mean, the sauce is something that um, is going to complement the boat. And uh, I always want the cider to actually, that the sauce tastes of cider, but it doesn't get bitter. Yeah. And um, you use some of the juice of the meat from when we fry off the meat initially and use that juice to enrich the sauce. Wonderful. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Right. That's chopped down. And then the garlic is cut in through the middle. I'm going to roast it slightly trendy style. Slightly trendy style. I try to have the top off of each garlic bulb. Take the skin off and the skin down a little bit. Because what you want, people like me, they want to actually take the garlics out once they're roasted. That's wonderful, isn't it? So, like this, you have access to it. There you go. Yeah. Cunning. I was just going to slap it in half like an idiot. But that's Tucci's the chef's edge. tucci has got a wonderful thing that um, whenever we've got some, say, day or gelato or something like that, he'll slice it up really thinly, toast it, yep. and then um, when it comes out of the, uh, the oven, um, just sprinkle it with some olive oil and some salt and yeah, it's absolutely oil, delicious. Salt. That's the best with the roasted garlic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Cool. So, <sighs> next. So that noise you can hear in the background is the fan on the oven, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yeah. Yes, because we're preheated that for doing the pheasant. Um, this pheasant is from the Tillingbourne Trout Farm, which is, uh, means it's all traceable, as against it being one that you might have known from yourself. <coughs> and um, we're going to be frying this off in a rather fab pan, I take it, Daniel? Yep. Yes, so um, the pan I'm using is um, a cast iron skillet, basically. Yeah, we love a um, cast iron. Fried off. Um, it's perfect for outdoors, because this one I literally take anywhere and uh, just chuck it on the fire or hot coal. Um, it doesn't damage, there is no plastic bits. And what I usually do with this, fry the bird off and with this pan, straight into the oven. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, well, Serene is uh, attacking the parsnips. I am attacking the parsnips. Oh. I've watered down the um, honey so, so it spreads nice. nicely. And then I'm just oh, Daniel's packing mixing this. them around. Butter onto the pheasant. Oh, God. Oh, you can use any old butter, but I have to say, oh, I, found no. this. I found this. The garlic farm on the Isle of Wight, they are one heck of an operation. That's where the bowl of garlic came from as well, courtesy of our badge, thank you darling. <laughs> Have I ruined this? Ruined it? I, I don't see how you could. They've been part boiled, there's a bit of flour, some honey. Yeah. There's a bit of seasoning Good. according to... A bit of oil. Uh -huh. There we go, they're ready to go in. This is going to be sumptuous. 
Okay. Okay, it's not the right I can take stills of these bits. Yep, you need to take some still of this one. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, lovely. This butter is stunning to do this. It's going to be so because tasty. It, it sticks. It sticks. And that is superb. Fabulous. That is superb. There you go. Marvelous. There you go. Um, yeah. Sorry, Love. Yeah. Then to cook a bit longer. Yeah, because okay. the potato inside is not um this one wasn't. This one is. Oh they taste like crisps. No, really? No, no, you say goon chips. Uh, confession time, I, I wrote about doing a deal. I bought a packet of slabs crisps. <laughs> I was giving it all this about. And and I think I think it was meant. I mean, really? Coming to the wooden spoon, who you guys are, that reminds me, you've got a screen grab of what you guys look like on Facebook if people want to hire yes. your expertise, yes. haven't you, Dan? Yeah, I'll yes. So, Daniel and Serene Tucci together are the wooden spoon, catering in posh whites for posh corporates, or else in costume in paleo and, and there sort go. of medieval type cookery. Absolutely. Yes. Meals served in trenches. Wonderful nice loads of bread with you. Nice hearty stews. Yes. <laughs> and it's so good that the other caterers at the show wanted to assassinate you. Yes. yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah, that is terrible. Yeah. Right, that's the camera. It's, uh, they actually sent in character murderers around our tent <laughs> to murder our characters. It's good job yeah. we were non playing characters. Yeah, and yeah. it was good that we weren't playing because um, if you would have been murdered, you're out of the game for an hour to make another character, so they could have damaged our business. <laughs> Which is a long window away for us, for me to be saying, oh my god, we're actually cooking game chips. Yeah. So yeah, if you can, yeah. fry potatoes, slice them on a cheese grater and um, nom, 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 And I have to tell you, these guys are on a fairly serious diet right now and I'm just destroying it. I'm such an arse. <laughs> such a big meanie. Such a big meanie. <laughs> don't sound very sincere. <laughs> no. No, it's quite thick as it is. How much you want? Uh, just keep going. Alright? Yeah, because it's not hot yet, so it's gonna. Just let it boil up. Yeah. Brilliant. Get away with the garlic and. Mm. Scrumpy. Scrumpy, scrumpy. Yes, you, wanna, you, you can. Yeah, I'll stir. do it. Oh, very good. Thank you, thank you. So, guys, the wooden spoon, there was there's some sort of relatively dark mythology attached to your story, isn't there? Well, there is a well known saying that he that sups with the devil ought to have a long spoon. Mm -hmm. And um, the mythology behind our illustrious uh, troupe is that um, nobody knows quite whether uh, our food tastes so good because we made a pact with the devil or we beat him back with the spoon. So, uh, so yes. So, and, and on whose lineage? You know, we're no, not quite sure how we came into possession of this very, very sacred wooden spoon, uh, but but it blesses us, our food, and everything that uh, we bestow upon yourselves, you know. Mm, so that, not the one you're staring with, this is, is this an actual spoon hidden away somewhere? Is this it, a... it is a sacred wooden spoon, yes. uh, which we have. Nobody is allowed to touch it, apart no. from... Uh, Just, the... We're not staring the side of the saucer, but it's tucked away. It's... Yeah. It is tucked away. Um, shall be revealed only to the... Uh, <laughs> it's six feet long, to start off it, right? is six, it is six foot long. Wow. Uh, six foot long. And uh, yeah, no, it's marvellous. It's marvelous. used usually to uh, stir <coughs> the, the stews. Trouble. Stir trouble. And yes. stir trouble. Stir trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so you zoom on into that side of sauce. Oh. It's coming together. I'm to tell you in 4K. <clears throat> if you like gravy, there's enough to feed about 25 people here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. And then ah, so like the game chips, we're going to put a little chefy portion right now and get a big no, bowl. Yeah, get a big bowl. <laughs> exactly. You get in the bowl. You get in the bowl. You get in the bowl. <laughs> so, there we have it. Oh, roast pheasant, streaky bacon, roast garlic, roast parsnips, they are unbelievably tasty. That's like a whole new food group on its own, not sticky parsnips. The cider sauce is delicious with shallots and red onions. 
and I can't believe I'm so ashamed of myself. I was going to suggest getting chips out of a bag. All that remains for now is uh, for us to tuck in and eat it. It's out of brain of a Slingshot World TV and the game recipe. And I have to say, this is only a, roughly a thousand times better than what I did for the first one. <laughs> the Wooden Spoon. Find them on Facebook. Guys, thank you so, so much. Such this a pleasure. is the beginning of a long, loving relationship, I'm sure. We'll see you next time.